Hello, Monkey Toss TV is back in SoCal Comics with Jamie. Good morning. Hi there. What's going on in comics? Well, I'm going to start with uh, Project Superpowers. This is a spin-off title, Black Terror, from Dynamite Entertainment. I just got into this. It's uh, well done, well written. A lot of mythos that has to be picked up. Highly recommend it. Also from Dynamite Entertainment, for you Clint Eastwood Spaghetti Western 1960s aficionados, the good, the bad, and the ugly, which is a storyline involving the man with no name, that takes over where the movie's left off. Lock and Key, this is a new series, beginning with issue number one. I'm also beginning with this title. I can see why everyone loves this. The Torch, this is issue three of a Marvel series with Dynamite Entertainment input, i.e. Alex Ross. This is really underrated and well done. Takes the 1940s Human Torch into the present and pits him against the Mad Thinker. Just a Society of America. Great art, great story, underappreciated, needs to be paid attention to. And finally, kick ass for Marvel. Where is it? Waiting. Um, we can expect the next issue of Kick Ass in 2011. Okay, so now we're going to join Matt, who's going to teach us about kissing. And as your lips approach hers, the soft caress of, you know what, I'm going to save this for an after hour special. Today I'm going to talk about non-comic book comic books. Comic books featuring people that aren't in tights and wearing capes, so genre books. For example, there are actually horror books out there, I talked about a couple weeks ago, The Walking Dead for zombies, Hack Slash for slashers, and North 40 for Lovecraftian kind of whatnot. If that's not your bag, you like sci-fi, we got that too. Fear Agent by Image is pretty good, about a space bounty hunter. Warren Ellis has a pretty good grab on the sci-fi market with Ignition City and Anna Mercury, which I think is about a globe-trotting, universe-hopping pretty girl. I don't think he knows what it's about either. And if you like mystery, we got some of that too, featuring the popular Chew and Hawaiian Dick, which I'm still waiting for the latest issue to come out. But it's gonna be a mystery when it does. And now we'll toss it over to... Mega Minute with Chris and so one of my titles is Bleach. Um, it discusses uh, the life of Ichigo Kurosaki, who wants to be um, the strongest fighter in his family. Uh, next one is Lone Wolf and Cub. It discusses the life of Agami Ito, who used to be the Shogun's own um, executioner. And he goes through this long journey in trying to get honor back into his family. Uh, third book, uh, actually, Two books that I want to showcase are from shoujo titles. Uh, first one is Kimi ni to Doki. Um, it basically talks about the uh, a girl who likes horror movies. Um, a lot of people think that she's a, a horror character herself from The Ring. Um, but unfortunately, everyone's wrong. And uh, her main love interest is the most popular boy. And then the fourth book is The Wallflower. And it also features another girl who loves horror flicks and uh, doesn't like uh, Creatures of the Light. And that's what she calls all the uh, hot, sexy boys that live with her who are trying to make her into the perfect girl. And that's your Manga Minute. Now that we're almost done, here comes the pick of the week. Captain America, reborn. Is he reborn yet or no? Um, like a, like a born-again Christian or? What is his religious point of view? Um, he loves America. I love America, Captain America, and you should too. This book is pretty good. Yeah, he, he comes back from the dead, as if we're so surprised. Shocker. Um, yeah, but it's cool how he does, because it's insane. Yeah. Like, there's time travel, sort of, and I don't, I couldn't explain it. You have to read it, just read it. Please. Yeah. Please read it. <laughs> if you don't, he won't come back, and he'll be stuck in limbo forever. How low do you think he can get? I bet he's a pretty good limboer. Limboer. Limboer? Limboer. So what you do in limbo? Limbo athlete? No, that's awful. I'm gonna read the rest of this. I'm gonna sign us off. Uh, I'm Matt. Um, and I unintentionally dressed like Freddy Krueger today. <laughs> we will see you next week. He'll see you in your dreams, maybe. In a bad way. Or a good way, depending on how you like that stuff.